Hi, everybody. I'm Amy, and welcome to the IELC mini lesson on starting and ending conversations. Um, once again, my name is Amy Metcalf, and I'm a, an assistant professor at the Intensive English Language Center at UNR. If you need to contact us, contact us at IELC at UNR.edu. So today, there's lots to get through with um, learning about how to start and end conversations, but um, what I'd like to start with is a quick question, which is a review. If you were in last week's class, you'll know the answer to this. The question is... What is the magic number? This is uh, a way of organizing your ideas, uh, organizing your English. What is the magic number? If you were in last week's class, you know that three is the magic number. So I'm going to talk about three things that can make your conversations better right from the start. So the first one is to speak loudly and confidently. Many students have perfect English, yet they speak very quietly and it's very difficult to hear what they're saying. So when you're meeting someone for the first time or starting a conversation, you wanna be positive and confident and speak loud enough that they can hear you. If you speak quietly, you're not covering up those mistakes. And by the way, speaking of mistakes, it's okay to make mistakes. I've already made several in the short amount of time that I've been speaking. So it's okay. Um, Speak loudly, speak confidently. The second thing you need to remember when you're starting a conversation is to show your understanding and to encourage the conversation. So there is a listener, there's a speaker. As a listener, as a member of the conversation, you need to show that you understand. So how do you show someone that you understand? And if you look at the screen, you can see um, I put four ways to do that. So the first one is to nod. So nod means to move your head. Okay. Um, you could say, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. This is telling the speaker that you're listening to them and that you understand what they're saying. You're encouraging them to continue. So even though these are small sounds during a conversation, it's really important. If they say something amazing or something really interesting, you can say, wow, mm, wow, that's amazing, right? If they say something bad, you can say, oh, that's so, so sad. That's too bad. Right? So you want to show that you understand and to encourage the speaker as you're listening in the conversation. The second thing that you want to do to show understanding might be to clarify. So you might want to ask a question like, do you mean to say blah, 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 right? So you're asking, you don't really understand, you want to check your understanding. You could say, sorry, asking them to repeat can say, I'm sorry, what did you say? Right? So maybe it's an issue with hearing, maybe it's an issue with pronunciation. Huh? Huh? Is very common in informal conversation. And I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Meaning I didn't understand. Can you please repeat what you said? So first, speak loudly and confidently. Second, make sure that you encourage the conversation through showing a, of understanding or clarifying, asking questions for understanding. The third thing that you need to do is to ask questions. Conversation is like a game of tennis and questions are a way of hitting the ball back and forth from one player to the other. You want to make sure that you're asking questions that you, show interest in the person you're speaking to. So when you ask a question, you want to follow up with more than and you, right? Try to open, ask open-ended questions like, um, what do you think about that? Um, how long have you lived here? Why did you decide to come to Reno? So you're asking open-ended questions, not do you like the movie? Ask. What did you think about the movie? This gives the speaker or the person you're talking to more of a chance to elaborate, to add more to the conversation. So you can see for number three, I put the three second rule. The three second rule is very important. American conversation style is very fast. 
And you want to think about three seconds when you are asking questions. So let's take a pause for three seconds. So within that amount of time, you need to make sure that either you respond to the person's question or that you ask another question. We don't want to have dead silence longer than three seconds in a conversation. So one, two, three, pass the ball by asking a question. All right, so if you're interested in learning more about how to start a conversation, what can you say to people, um, join our class. Thank you for coming to this quick mini lesson.